Phil. Tom. What are you in for? Getting fitted with a new pacemaker in the morning. What are you? We've only had that one a couple of years. I know. I took the grand wings to one of them laser quests. You know, where well, the wings shoot one another with laser beams and lights flash. This thing went off, it's nut. <laughs> I get cared. Oh, jeez, oh. So that's me then. It's a bastard tape because I was supposed to be going my holidays on Wednesday. Oh, uh, your time shared. Uh, I'm, I'm very sorry, sir, but it's well past visiting time. <laughs> Excuse me, then. <laughs> Don't you recognise my face? Tam Mullen, hospital DJ. Oh, hi. <laughs> I've seen your face on the radio. Beat it. <laughs> well, I'll be seeing you, fella. I'll be thinking of you. Keep strong. Keep positive. So, um, that your timeshare lying empty, is it? Dirty bastard. Dirty stinking bastard. Dirty low order stinking bastard. Dirty low order hoaching stinking bastard. Bastard. Ah, he's a bastard. I might well be a bastard. But in a week's time, I will be a golden brown bastard. A dying man's holiday off him. He's no dying. He's incapacitated. I'm doing him a favour. Who's watching you might call it? Pay the lagging, Bobby. Right. What have I missed? Oh. Well, there's Phil Johnson lying up in the hospital, right? Mm -hmm. And he can't get going his timeshare. Well, Tam's hoovered it off him. Dirty, low-order, stinking... Ah, we've given that. <clears throat> Aye, good. Cos that's you all are, isn't it, Tam? What? Sponging stuff off the hill. What's wrong with you? Stone deep. Nothing they can do. That's a shame. Give your walkman. Sure, top. Who's <laughs> doing your show while you're away? Well, that's a good question, Bobby. Timely, apt. You know what I never do? What's that? Buy Jack and Victor a pint. Would you like a pint, Jack and Victor? Eh? Oh, a nice cold pint. Tasty, frothy. No thanks, no way, Jose. Oh, no. Oh, you're then spinning some records. No. Because then we would be accomplices in you stealing that man's timeshare off him. Well, I'm due a holiday. I've been up there for two years, nearly every week, playing records for they poor people. I have given tirelessly of myself, and for no reimbursement, apart from tea, sandwiches, and my weight and biscuits. Get a rest. Come on, Jack. These people have got nothing. Lying up there, no knowing what's coming next, be it good news or bad news. There's no lot of joy in a hospital. A very lonely place if you're no well. My show is a glimmer of hope. A beacon of happiness to a lot of people who need it. I won't have that sullied. Not by yous and not by anybody. New watch, Tam. John Gilchrist, Ward 10, cancel. <laughs> Family size bag of Revlos, Navid. That's not a family size bag. Aye, it is. No, it's no. Oh, Jesus, it is. Take them. 80 pence. I'm not getting you 80 pence. That's not a family bag. Oh, Christ. Look. <laughs> this is a regular bag. This is a family bag. I know what a family size bag looks like. I should know. And that's to be. That's what we need, isn't it, Justin? <laughs> Tried them with vegetables and fish and meat. All he likes is a family bag of Revels. Well, you have the uh, bean art, caramel, coffee, orange, so I suppose all the food groups are represented. <laughs> 80 pence. He had these for his breakfast. Look at his size yet. That's a family bag. <laughs> that is not No, you're right. That is a full size family bag. This is for you. A single parent family bag. 80 pence. <laughs> What are you doing in there? Hello, it's Hala Pandi Mia. Oh, sit in your crate and need that. Oh, come on, my back teeth are swimming here. Oh, Sophie, you're already dead, and you're dead, and you're dead. Go me, Daldi, Madi, Kos, we're up a shop, go in there. Just gonna get the floor, it's my ass, Navit. Mata that, isn't it? When you're needing somebody's in there. Nina, 
Sir, you are rotten. You cannot raise here your stinky boot. Right. Out you come. <laughs> oh, shit. Hold the one! Come on, shut up. Hold the one! <laughs> Start there. Oh. What's in your bag? Never mind what's in the bloody bag, Isaac. Looks like LPs. What's this X-ray vision? Aye, that's right, you're correct, it is LPs. <laughs> Most no Victor and I are standing in for time at the hospital radio for a week. Oh, that's good of you. I've got LPs on here, I know, good. see? Funny that, ain't it? I mean, what are the chances us both standing here with a stack of LPs, eh? <laughs> Aye. Spooky. Come on. To my wee dance evening at the community centre. That scene started up again, you see, and we each take turn at bringing our records. That's how I've got the, the LPs. LP. Smash it, Isaac. Good. Oh, here you might see Navid up at the hospital. Navid, how was the matter, ma'am? Oh, I couldn't say that. That's a confidential thing, that. A man's health. He couldn't get a pee. <laughs> the minutes he stood squeezing, shoving, and grunting, and not a drop. Here I've tell you. We well, here, Vincent, what's your part in all this radio business? I'm helping them. Oh, I help them. What? Running about after them like a sort of tea boy. <laughs> you mark your diary, you go on my tits, <laughs> I was just thinking, if the boys don't need you, you might like to accompany me to the dance class, where I was looking for partners and a big, handsome man like yourself. I'd be the envy of all the girls. <laughs> oh, wrongs, Mary, I love you. I'm racking my brains here, Isaac, to come up with reasons why not. Oh, aye, that's right. I've only one leg, I've never liked you, and this just in, no. <laughs> <laughs> Good feeling, isn't it, being in the hospital or nothing around you? Aye. Makes you appreciate your health, doesn't it? Aye. Oh, lads. Oh, look at this. There's your audience. There's no business like show business. Are you helping us or what? Aye. Aye, well, come on then. <laughs> hey, old Tam. Right, come on, you're late. Sit down. What about that? Here. Here. Oh. And what will you be doing? Stuff. Help. A lackey. <laughs> what? A footman? A toady, if you will. Shut up. Right, Tam. Um, how do I switch this mic on? Well, it doesn't matter how you switch the mic on. You don't need to talk. I never do. Just play some records. Ugh, no talking. My head's full of shite for talking. Ah, <laughs> you've got loads of fish to say. Just uh, keep it simple. You know? When one record finishes, you put another one on. You don't need to talk. Oh, apart from on the hour every hour, you've got to get... This show is brought to you by Lanacare. Oh, here it's coming up. Get a shot. Yeah, uh, right. Um, Mike, is it? The show's brought to you by Lanacare. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. Right, lads, you're off air at ten. So I've got to go and get one of these electrical bug mosquito killer things. Yeah. I've got one of them. Oh, have you? Could you lend me it? I suppose so. Oh, that's great of you. That's a saving. Right, I'm away. You enjoy yourselves now. Well? Well what? Two teas, please. <laughs> Generally with men your age, it tends to be an enlarged prostate, but at this stage, I wouldn't rule out a stricture or a kidney stone block in your bladder. That's good, Doctor, but when can I piss again? Oh, that's what we're going to find out. I need to do an internal examination of your prostate. Oh, Jesus. Up the butthole. Oh, I'm afraid so. <laughs> if you just roll onto your side for me, bring your knees up to your chest. And relax. You'll need to relax a wee bit more than that. Bit more than that. I'm trying to relax. There we are. Oi! <laughs> I 
Any joy? I'm just going to press on your prostate. You may feel a slight discomfort. Slight, huh? I'll be the judge of... Jesus! <laughs> Sorry about that. That's all right. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll get you up to ward and we'll have you fixed in no time. Aye, right, good. Can you mean a day in that every time we need a was? <laughs> Dancing, Liz. I'm saying Liz here, she should be up dancing, eh? And where's that Ken of yours? He's usually with you. Where's he buggery? Oh, Arthur. Ken is no deep, is it? Oh, jeez, oh. This is boring, isn't it? Why? It's not as fun as I thought it was going to be. No. How are we not allowed to talk, Victor? Tam says we've got to talk. Yeah, but Tam's not here. I'm choking to talk. I'm choking to say, hi there, welcome to the Jack Jarvis Show. How's it your show? Well, I'm not being funny, but my name's got Mary a DJ ring to it, hasn't it? Jack Jarvis. So's mine. Victor McDeed. <laughs> no, that's no use. No, see, my name's got two letters the same. JJ, Jack Jarvis. Gyrate to Jack Jarvis. I'm Victor McDade, that's your record they played. <laughs> uh, the Jack and Victor show. What about the Victor and Jack show? What about the Jack Jarvis and Victor show? What about Desert Island Dicks? <laughs> Let's start talking. What do we say? Well, see, that's the thing. Your DJs just talk a lot of shite anyway, didn't they? Aye. Aye. Right, Winston. What? No, no mere tea, no way. No, no, not at all. <clears throat> You've been promoted to the position of collector of requests. Smashing. That's better. Aye. Take that pad and pen and go around all the wards and find out what everybody wants to listen to. Oh, Jack. Lanarkia. Oh. And this programme was brought to you by Lanarkia. Oh, by the way, if you're sitting there wondering, who's that strange voice in the radio? Well, I'll put you straight in the picture. Tam, your usual host, he's away on holiday. But standing in for him all this week is me, Jack Jarvis, and my good friend... <laughs> Vic Vaughan. <laughs> Howdy, JJ. Currently circulating the wards is our good friend, Winston Ingram, collecting requests for your listening pleasure. For your delectation. For your enjoyment. Hope you enjoy this. This is Joe Laws with his rendition of Glenn Miller's In the Mood. Hi, thanks for dropping in for dinner. Look at that. She visits, sits for an hour. Says nothing. She tans my grapes. <laughs> it's like a family tree with no names on it. David, have you had your op? Aye, Winston. Ah, you're looking well. There couldn't have been much to it. No, there was nothing to it. It was a scush. Just three foot of cable jammed up my cock. <laughs> I've just seen blood in the bag for two days. What a laugh. Was that Jack and Victor I heard on the radio? Aye. They're stoning in for Tam. I'm taking requests. Oh, smashing. I'll take a uh, long and Lishkara. And if they don't have that? Uh, Zindagi Ixafara Sohana. Right. <clears throat> uh, MDLs. Anything Belina Horn? Right, oh. Yes. Daniel Beddingfield. <laughs> I gotta get through this. I gotta get through this. <laughs> Jesus. Right. Come here, son. What can I do for you? Have you got Nelson Eddy singing Rosemary? Aye, aye, that we could probably do. How you keeping? Aye, good. Can I 
Okay, man. Aye, aye, sir. Do you know my trouble? What's that? I've got a mouth up the clay tunnel. I've always been the same. Talk first, listen later. Margaret tell me there about your Kenny, Liz. I'm awful sorry. Aye. He loved this wee class. When we were getting ready, he'd be the one shouting, come on, come on, get your skates on. I really shouldn't still be coming. You know, my granny and granda loved their garden. When we were wee, they would let you play and it, but you had to be careful, like, because it was pristine. The beautiful flowers all round about it and the wee lawn was like a putting green. They were rooting it every weekend, pottering about. But when my granda died, well, that was it. My granny wouldn't go out there. She let the garden run to seed. We tried to coax her to keep it nice, but she wasn't interested. Without him there, she didn't want anything to do with it. The place ended up like a jungle, a right mess, you know, covered in weeds. And I remember thinking, if my granda saw that, he'd be fizzing. No angry cos the garden was a maze, but angry cos she wasn't looking after it like the head. You've got to keep dancing, Liz. Moan. Seven. Multiplied by the nine times ten. Minus the five. Minus seven. Six one eight. <laughs> oh you bastard, I've used the seven twice. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Winston. Hi, Tam. Where are you at the airport? No, 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 yet. Eric's given me a lift in a minute. Oh, well, that's a taxi fare saved. Well done. <laughs> what is it? Hey, do you have any sun cream? Sun cream? Oh, I've given you everything else. Towels, shoes, case, sunglasses, the lot. Chase yourself. Yeah, but, but you know that stuff's 8 99 a bottle. I'm fair skinned. I'll burn up. <laughs> 8 99 Well, keep your bonnet on. No, come on now. What about that stuff you put in your head at the bowling? Factor 25. I got it for the chemist. The chemist? You about out my road, the chemist. Right, fine. Come round and get it. That's the game. See you in a minute or two. to 7.30. Time to hop on the feel-good bus for a trip down memory lane. Jack! <laughs> can give you what you want, but you got to go home with me. I forgot some good old love and then I got this song in store. When I get through throwing it on you, you got to come back for more. Boys and things will come by the dozen, but that ain't nothing but drugstore loving. Pretty little thing, let me light your count, cause mama, I'm so sure hard to hell and I yes around. Action, speech louder than word, and I'm a man with a great experience. I know you got you another man, but I can love you better than him. Take my hand, don't be afraid, I wanna prove every word I say. That was for Sheena, who's getting out this evening. Sheena, darling, we hope we don't see you back in here again too soon. So, 
Uh, what is it you're saying to people who are suggesting that the health service aren't doing enough? Well, the waiting list for operations is getting shorter. Well, I've got a pal, for instance, that's been waiting three years for a hip replacement. Um, what are you saying to him? Well, statistically speaking, that's... Ach, away and don't talk a lot of shame. <laughs> Now, here's a mention for a good friend of ours, Navid. If you ever find yourself in Craig Lang, be sure to pop into Harid's General Store for your fruit, veg, bread and pipe tobacco. And, of course, a warm, friendly smile. That's my shop! That's my shop! But don't expect to see him in the shop for the next few days, because he's in here with pisser problems. <laughs> Hey, uh, everything all right there? Aye, they're shifting me. Want to keep an eye on me. What about my song? Your song? <laughs> Nelson Eddy. Rosemary. Oh, Jesus, aye. Did they not play that? I'll look into that for you. Good luck. It's uh, Winston, isn't it? Aye, hen. It would be good if you could play that record for Tommy. Today. How? Oh. I'm not sure he's going to make it through the night. All right. <sighs> Sorry, Winston. We haven't got it. That's how we've not played it. Oh, shit. Can we not just play him something else? Well, he's asked for it. And, well, looks like he's going to snuff it the night. Christ. Elsa and Eddie. That's a, uh, that's a 1930s, isn't it? Aye. How does it go again? Uh, <clears throat> oh, Rosemary, I love you. I'm always dreaming. Horrors, Mary. <laughs> I'll be back in half an hour. Right, here we go. D Day. Or P day. <laughs> right, come on now. Don't let me down, my little lavda. Oh, yeah, beauty. <laughs> and cease fishing. <laughs> Commence fishing. <laughs> oh, yes. I fish it well, like a man should. For I am the prince of fish. When the princess finished fishing, can the Duke take a dump? <laughs> Not so fast. We're doing something for you, but what are you doing for us, good-looking fella like you? That, eh? What's that? I'm well, being told that you're not going to see the morning. Aye. That's me now. It's happening. I'll get the nurse. No, stay. Stay here. It's been a long road we've walked again. And I'm just sorry. You'll have to walk the last bit yourself. I've got it. What's his name, Winston? Tommy. This one goes out to Tommy. Oh, Rosemary, I love you. I'm always dreaming of you. No matter what I do, I can't forget you.
Rosemary! Rosemary, you bastards! Rosemary was his bit in the side. His fancy piece. I'm Agnes. <laughs> Jesus, that's him. So do, 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 do. 